guys welcome back to episode two now this is the sprinter conversion and you are watching episode two and episode one was about removing the racking and getting us introduced into this video i'm just going to show you guys a couple of clips from the last video if you haven't seen it please go and watch the video because you want to see me struggling the guy do conversion on his own well this is a video for you so in today's video we're going to be getting out the bulkhead, we're also going to be getting the old flooring up and we're also going to be cleaning up ready to start the rust treatment and the flooring paint. Let's get to it. For anyone wondering, um, Torx head bolts all the way around the outside, um, fairly straightforward, and then these are 10 mil nuts. Um, I think we're nearly there. Now, what I will say is that um, I didn't actually end up filming me taking this out. But I got there in the end and the bolts were down the back behind the seats. There's some Torx bolts which essentially hold them in once you've done all of the bolts around the outside here. So bear that in mind if you've got a sprinter and you're taking out as well. There is bolts behind the back of the seats. Yes, they're a pain to get to. But you know what? You'll find them in the end and pull this out. The bulkhead's now out and we can start to move on to the next section. And we are moving forward with the sprinter conversion project so that being said two hours later the flooring's up this was an absolute nightmare to get up honestly a proper nightmare now i thought it was easy i haven't done it before but it just wasn't so floor's now up or nearly up as you can see there's loads and loads and loads of muck along the floor now, with this being a Saturday, um, it's quite nice outside, which is lovely, but, and you get a bit of light into the van, but it is really dark in here, so you might not be able to see everything, but the tools that I'm finding is absolutely, like, brilliant. Little bits of tools that, you know, always come in handy. So, yeah, I'm gonna uh, get this, um, get this done today, get all the dust up, all the muck up, get it all swept up, so it's back to basic. Take the wooden panels off the side of the walls, these ones here, get them taken off. And then what I can do is start to sweep up all the mess, get all the rubbish out, fill the holes. That's the most important thing, filling the holes because um, it needs to maintain watertight, doesn't it, inside the, the van. So let's get done that and then we can start to paint the floor with rust treat. Now I'll be honest, this floor, considering the van, is a 60, 2010 plate. I don't know if you can see, it's got the odd little spot where the screw went through and the rest of it is absolutely pristine so do you know what we'll take that as an absolute brucey bonus so I'll tell you what let's get this stripped out let's get cracking let's go so guys i'm having to take to using a crowbar in this scenario because it was just a nightmare to get the floor up so but i will say if you're going to do it yourself get a crowbar it's absolutely fantastic prop underneath where the old wood was and ideally what you're looking for is to snap it or somehow rip it apart uh, to get it out of the van because let's be honest you're not going to be keeping it unless it's brand new and if it is brand new take your time if it isn't just get it out of there, start fresh, and remove all of the old wood. I reckon that flooring's probably been in there for a good 10 years. Can you, just look? Can you see that? Screws, tools, bits. It's just full of them. I'd love to keep them all as well. I'd love to keep all the screws and just use them for something useful, but. Space. Chuffing. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So next up, you know it, I need to start sweeping all of this rubbish up because let's face it, you can't put your new floor down on the old crap can you? So we get it all swept up and then I'm going to move on to hoovering and just trying to get all of that dirt and grime up as much as I can because it's just going straight in the bin. Completed. So we're getting there. These things take time, remember. So, although it's a pain in the ass, you want it done like tomorrow. Doesn't happen. So, so far, no problems. Get this over up. Get all the nails out, screws out, ready. Get it cleaned, scrubbed clean. I mean clean. Get these boards off the side here, and then uh, we're ready for some uh, hoofing and rust treatment. Bosch.